Hey hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can play the Epic Games version of GTA 5 with a PS4 controller. Now it's a very easy process, so let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is grab your PS4 controller and plug it into your USB cable. Now, from there, what you want to do, you want to go onto your PC and open up Steam. Because what we want to do, we want to use the Steam settings to take over our controller. Now. Here, go down to your library and we want to add GTA 5, which is already pre-installed on our computer to the library for Steam. Now simply add a game in the bottom left corner, add a non-Steam game. And what you want to do, you want to look for the Rockstar Launcher, the GTA 5 Launcher. Now don't use the Epic Games Launcher, simply look for the little Rockstar icon and the Launcher for your uh, GTA 5. Now once you found that and you added it to the library of your Steam profile, Steam uh, game, what you want to do next, you want to go to the top right corner where it says enter big picture mode. Now what this will do, it will enter the big picture mode for Steam as you can see right here. We're gonna change some settings for our controller. Now from out here, what we want to do, we want to go down to the button left where it says Steam menu, right here. And from there we got to go to the settings. Now inside the settings, we have the controller options right here. And inside the controller options here, we have the PlayStation controller support. As you can see, it is not, a, not enabled. What we want to do, we want to first try this enabled in games without support and then try it enabled. So simply try the both and check which works. And from there, what you can do, you can close down uh, this, simply press back, back. And what you want to do next, you want to go to your profile, sorry, go down to the menu, open up the library and inside the library, you can see the non-Steam non games and here you can play the game. Now from there you can play the game with a controller. Now let's say this still doesn't work for you. What you can do is you can simply go and exit the picture big mode and open up your Google Chrome browser. Now from there, we want to go down to the website ds4windows.com as you can see right here. And here download the little tool because this tool will override your controller and it can easily be used for any game you like. And from here you see a little, um, yeah, a very easy uh, tutorial as you can see right here. And from there you can use it. Now, if this tutorial was helpful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This helps me a lot and thank you for watching.